from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Wednesday, August the 3rd, 2022. Parts of southern Israel near the Gaza border remained on high alert today after the arrest Sunday night of the head of the Palestinian Islamic Jihad terror group in the West Bank by Israeli forces. Additional IDF troops were brought in to beef up security in the area and a number of roads remained closed. After what the IDF said on Monday was a direct threat of a possible attack on Israeli civilians from the terror group. Israel's Prime Minister Yair Lapid convened the Security Council today where he was briefed on the security situation in the South. Well, hundreds of Israelis joined the family of fallen IDF officer Lieutenant Hadar Golden to march from their home in Kfar Saba to the Gaza border under the banner Marching to Gaza, Bringing the Boys Home calling on the Israeli government to bring back the bodies of Hadar Golden and fellow officer Sergeant First Class Oron Shaul from terror group Hamas in Gaza. Golden and Shaul were killed during Operation Protective Edge in 2014. Their bodies have been held captive by Hamas for the last eight years. Hadar's twin brother Tsur invited the public to join the three-day march. Hadar's sister, Ayelet Golden Kaufman, was cited by Ynet saying, my brother has been left abandoned in Gaza for the past eight years. There is an agreement between a state and its citizens that a soldier that goes missing in battle needs to be brought back. It's a symbol of the state's ethics. I'm calling on Yair Lapid to be an ethical prime minister. Make a plan. Canada's National Statistical Agency released its report yesterday on police reported crime, including hate crimes for 2021, which saw an increase from last year. The black community was the most targeted in the race or ethnicity category. The Jewish community was the most targeted in the religion category and second most targeted overall. Shimon Koffler Fogel, president and CEO of the Center for Israel and Jewish Affairs in Canada, said this disturbing trend clearly proves the need for proactive measures to stop the rising hate targeting diverse Canadians based on their identity. Fogel said this report should be a call to action for all Canadians to stand against anti-Semitism and all forms of hate. A team from Israel's renowned Weizmann Institute of Science have for the first time grown synthetic embryo models of mice outside the womb by starting solely with stem cells without the use of fertilized eggs. The scientific breakthrough was published Monday in the peer-reviewed journal Cell. The team is led by Professor Jacob Hanna, who is Palestinian and whose team includes Israeli Jews and Arabs and a Palestinian doctoral student. He told the Times of Israel nobody has made advanced embryos from stem cells ever, so this is significant. This will both advance understanding of stem cells and organs in mammals and is likely to have practical significance in the future, significance that could include growing organs for life-saving transplants. Turning to some sports news, Jewish relief pitcher Scott Efros is heading to the Yankees. The 28-year-old from Ohio was acquired from the Chicago Cubs in exchange for minor leaguer Hayden Wesneski. The Yankees tweeting to Efros on Monday, welcome to the Big Apple. Akum, Israel's nonprofit that administers the copyrights of authors, composers, and music publishers in the country, announced its prizes in music for 2022 today including Lifetime Achievement Recognition for veteran and prolific Israeli singer-songwriter Yehudit Ravitz, and Song of the Year to Narkis, a former guest on JBS, for her song, Holechet Itcha, Going With You.
taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Wednesday, August the 3rd at 7 o'clock. It's Talmud Study. At 7.37, Christine Hayes speaks on forging Jewish identity. At 9.05, Mark Golub sits down with Rabbi Charles Sherman on L'Chaim. At 10.02, Brett Stevens and Pamela Nadell debate whether the golden age of American Jewry has peaked. And coming up next, it's Thinking Out Loud. And that's the JBS News Update for Wednesday, August the 3rd, 2022. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy, stay well.